You probably know the forecast is going to say rain again overnight and rain tomorrow. We are now in second place on the all time lists of August and that's the second wettest August on record. The number one, by the way, 2004. Many of you remember that was when Gaston came through the city of Richmond. So we're getting close to that number now within two inches of being on the number one spot. The outlook for excessive rainfall overnight into the morning again is pretty high in our area. It's on moderate on our scale. And then as we go into tomorrow, that shifts to the northeast. So the rain will pull out of the area, the heaviest rain, and we'll be left with just some scattered showers in the afternoon, but a little more rain nonetheless. These are the flood watches and warnings currently in effect. Again, the flood warning in effect for much of the metro until one o'clock in the morning and that flood advisory going in Henrico Hanover into King William will linger until at least 145 in the morning. There's the band of rain that has made its way through the metro. Good news here. It's letting up a little bit to the south by the Tri Cities and central and southern Chesterfield. So if this continues to move to the north, we'll get another break in the rain, but there'll be a little bit more overnight tonight. Here's the Doppler radar estimate as to how much rain has fallen. We've had some reports of gauges registering anywhere from 9 to 11 inches down near Midlothian. So by far, Chesterfield has been the hardest hit. But that's not to say other areas haven't picked up a lot of rain, nearly three inches in Tuckahoe, about two inches near Short Pump, and then over towards Mechanicsville, two and a half, three inches of rain by estimates during the day today. This is what we expect overnight tonight. And notice some of that rain may fill in once again. This is seven o'clock in the morning going until about noontime. That starts to shift a little bit to the east. So hopefully we can get some of the steadiest rain that will come in waves to taper to a few showers in the afternoon, five o'clock. And then as we go into the evening, it all moves out of the way. Things are much quieter on Monday. We'll see a return of the sun. Then we might see a shower thunderstorm pop through during the afternoon. There's some hope that Tuesday may actually be dry across most of the area. So rain chances are going to come down substantially to begin the week and then more typical afternoon showers and storms popping back up yet again, nearly a 50 50 shot Wednesday through next Saturday. Right now it's 69 degrees outside. We have cooled off a little bit, but it's really, really muggy. The dew point at 67 and overnight temperatures not going to change all that much. A little bit warmer towards the coast, a little bit cooler off to the west and north, low and mid 60s. And look at tomorrow. We spend another day in the low to mid 70s. Rain chances are going to be highest in the morning tomorrow and then by the afternoon becomes more of a showery rain. So it's not going to rain all the time, but when it does, you know what the the rule has been there's going to be some downpours around a northerly breeze kicking into the area as well. High rain chances tomorrow. They go down on Monday, maybe just a shower thunderstorm in the afternoon, but a little sunshine up into the 80s. Look at Tuesday, upper 80s, and that promises to be dry across a good chunk of the area. Just an isolated thunderstorm possible Tuesday and then more typical weather rest of the week into next weekend. Looks like some scattered afternoon and evening storms with highs back in the 80s.